What a beautiful morning it is. Welcome to the channel. I'm at Lake Tarawera in Rotorua and it's quite a special place this because just across the water here is a volcano called Mount Tarawera which in 1886 changed the topography of this landscape forever as it exploded and in doing so destroyed this area and also the eighth wonder of the world which back then was the pink and white terraces located on the other side of the volcano which people travelled from all over the world to bathe in because of the mineral properties of the water. So in today's video we're going to be comparing two slide films a Fuji Velvia 100 versus Kodak Exachrome E100 and this morning's shot is a sunrise shot the sun's just coming up here although at the minute there's a, a cloud just blocking the light which is actually working quite well for this scene because slide film doesn't always like direct light so I've just done one shot and we've got my 80mm lens on here with a 3 stop medium edge filter and a 6 stop ND filter just to smooth out the water and there's some reeds here in front of me and I've just arranged them in a way that it leads the eye into the picture and the volcano is just on the horizon and there's a blanket of cloud just sat on there so it'll be interesting to see how these films handle this light particularly the blue skies and the shaded areas of the the forest areas at the base of the volcano over there and also the reeds in the foreground here so yeah looking forward to seeing how they turn out I'm only going to do one shot this morning here for sunrise and there's going to be some other shots that I'm going to do later on this evening for sunset in the same location however at sunset the sun will be setting directly behind me and I'm hoping for some direct sunlight on the volcano and hopefully we'll get the belt of Venus just above the volcano as well so we can check out the pink hues and those twilight hours so yeah we're going to continue with the vlog and stick with me and I hope you enjoy it it's going to be a fun ride and yeah looking forward to it change your plan and that's okay that's a good thing about landscape photography you can chop and choose as the day goes on so I've decided to come to Tipiria it's a geothermal wonder tourist attraction here in Rotorua it's famous for its geyser it's got the largest geyser in the southern hemisphere there's mud pools and hot springs so we're just going to go around and just work on my project really you know geothermal volcanic New Zealand and just see what we find It definitely smells a bit round here. Part of the reason why I came here actually, because there's these bubbling hot pools just right here. Full of mud, bubbling mud, squelching and popping, it's quite interesting. So I've just done one shot of each film with my 150mm lens and a, and a circular polarizer. Yeah, see how they turn out.
Geezer Tapuia Geezer apparently it goes off every hour so I've just seen it bubbling out some water but apparently it goes up to 30 meters in the sky so and you can see all the silica formations just down there although it's pretty pretty steamy so you might not be able to see that fully and at the bottom there there's just a blue spring kind of limited in where I can go to get around the geyser there's these kind of constructed pathways that you've got to stick to so I'm just trying to work with the scene and just observing the wind because the wind's blowing the steam in one direction so I think I'm going to go and try and find a spot and get set up and just wait for this geyser to go off So I've set up in a position where I think I'm going to get the best shot and I've got my 25, well 50, I've got my 50mm lens on here no filters, uh, it's 500th of a second at f11 in terms of metering I've just kind of metered off with silica and then added one stop it's pretty difficult to meter, I mean the steam's meter reading at about 2000th of a second so it's just a bit of a guess, a bit of a guesswork this one um, so I'm set up ready to go now, it's just about waiting for the geezer to go off. Terawera for the sunset shot as you can just see here just here you can just see Mount Terawera here so we're just going to make our way down to the lake now and get set up and find some compositions This is our subject for the evening, Mount Terawera. Obviously we've been here before and you've probably seen some of those videos. If you didn't see my previous video where I was here shooting Kodak Porsche 400 and Fuji Pro 400H, then I encourage you to check that out and I'll leave a link in the description section down below and there'll be a link that'll pop up here. So I'm gonna get set up now and the sun's already setting. You might be able to see from here, but there's already shadow is starting to cast at the base of the volcano because of the hills that are just kind of in front of us here just looking at the sky there's absolutely no clouds in the sky so it's it's going to be a very minimal shot and i'm banking on getting the belt of venus so i'm kind of expecting that the the volcano will continue to get redder and glow more redder as the sun sets and then hopefully we'll get um, the belt of Venus just sitting across the top of it and as you can see in the foreground here there's these reeds and I'm going to be using those as compositional tools and just trying to, I'm just trying to arrange them in a way so that it leaves the eye through the photo in the foreground
well, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed that. So, we've been all over the place really today. We were here this morning, we then went to the Giza, and then we're back here for sunset. As you can see, there was plenty of soft light, and I was really happy with the way the image was looking. And the mountain didn't quite glow up as, as I thought it would do, but that's okay. We still got the belt of Venus. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the images and the video. Please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of the film and what you think it's good for and not so good for. And yeah, there's, if there's other films that you'd like to see me compare, then please also leave a comment down below. So that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and you'll be notified when my future videos come out. Bye for now and take care.